And good evening and welcome to a regional championship edition of Friday Night Lights brought to you by Isabella Bank. I'm Scott Johnson. This is Austin Sumowitz. At least Meg said we were waving hands and nothing else. Yeah, no, that was all we were doing and we're just filled with excitement right now. <laughs> regional championship night. There's a ton of games to be looking forward to, so we got a lot to get to. So what are we starting off with first things first? Well, first of all, we're going to start off with a couple of teams from the TV5 Ewing area going head to head, and that happens to be Laker and New Lothrop in Division 7. Pick things up in the second quarter. New Lothrop up 14-7. New Lothrop's Jack Kohanekare pass to Nick Bartlett and Barnett, and he's got it down the sidelines, and he is into the end zone for the touchdown. It was 22 to 7 Hornets moving to the third. Lakers, J.C. Sears with the uh, breaks loose here, and he's got plenty of uh, green grass in front of him, and he's going to be gone for a touchdown. That closed it to 22 to 14. Then after New Lothrop fumbles the kickoff, it's Ethan Wisner ah, for the touchdown. The two-point try would fail. It was a 22 to 20 game in favor of New Lothrop. But in the fourth, New Lothrop's Alex Wenslick here gets in for the score, 29 to 20. That was your final. They are going to be taking on the winner of Ithaca or St. Francis that game tomorrow. They, they got the ball rolling, got a lot of momentum with the big touchdown, getting the onside, uh, you know, squib kick, and then uh, scoring again. It was like boom, boom. I mean, it was, uh, I don't know how quick it was, but for us to answer back and put that drive together and go down and score, hit the extra point, make it a two-score game again, that was huge for us, and uh, hats off to our guys. All right, the undefeated Frankenmuth Eagles, they hosted the Flint Hammity Hawks tonight over in the first quarter. Aiden Horde from Frankenmuth, he's going to strap back right here. He's going to fire one deep downfield. This one's going to be complete to Travis Brenner, who stopped just short of the end zone, but Frankenmuth would score just after that big play. Eagles up 7-0, back in the red zone for a second time now. Now Aiden's going to fake the handoff, giving it to Sam Barger on the sweep. He's on his way through into the end zone for a touchdown. Frankenmuth managed to keep Flint Hamity off of the scoreboard through the first three quarters. Now the Eagles back with it. Aiden Horde rolls to his left, turns back and hitting a screen pass to Griffin Barker. Great blocking from his teammates. He's just past the goal line for the touchdown. Frankenmuth was dominant all night long, and they win 49-7 for the regional title. The Eagles will face Detroit County yeah. Country Day next week. Frankenmuth tight end Brendan Marker told TV5 this is exactly where Frankenmuth should be. Feels amazing. We should be here. We belong here, and we're going to win a ring this year. So that's what we do here. Nothing changes. We keep doing what we do, and good things will happen. All right, to Division Four, Goodrich hosting Orchard Lake St. Mary's tonight. The Marsh is looking for their first ever regional title and their first ever trip to the Final Four. Gavin Hart here, Easton Phipps, and he's in for the touchdown. Seven nothing, Goodrich. Man, it's going to be hard. Check out this play here. Scrambles to his right. Looking deep. Chucking it up for Max Mecklem. And what a catch and what a touchdown. That could be a hurly play of the night. It was 14 0 in favor of Goodrich. Jace uh, Simerson here. You got to take the handoff. He gets in for the touchdown. The Martians rolling at 20 to 6. Simerson again. He's going to cut back here, and look at that. He's got a wide open. He's got a block. He's in for the touchdown. Goodrich is moving on to the state semifinals. 40-20, to 20, the final score. They'll face Riverview next week. They're just together. They're, they're a true team. Football is the greatest team sport because it takes 11. And if you have 11 great individuals, you're not necessarily going to win football games. You get a team that plays together and will pour each other like this, you're something to deal with. And there's something to deal with. All right, moving on. We got Linden taking on DeWitt High School. Moving off into the first quarter now. DeWitt is going to get on the scoreboard first. Thanks to Elliot Larner who drops back and he's going to get the pass way over to Bryce Kernes. And that's a great touchdown there for DeWitt to go up 7 to nothing on a fourth down, no less. Linden, no, striking back quickly. Michael Bush passes to Bryce Eluick and he's going to get in for the touchdown 7-7. Seven, seven. This is going to get the student section and Santa himself rocking a little bit. Second quarter now, DeWitt. Going to get another touchdown courtesy of Abram Larner as he rushes his way in, but they miss the PAT, so it's 13 to 7. Still second quarter after DeWitt stops him in the red zone. Linden's defense coming back as Connor Holick gets the sack for a safety. Late second quarter, DeWitt with some insurance from Braylon Smith. 
in for the touchdown, and it's a 20 to nine game. DeWitt, fourth quarter, 29 to nine now. Linden's Michael Bush getting into the end zone. DeWitt wins 19 to 16. Here's head coach Chad Williams. These kids leave for the remainder of time that we're here is that there is no quit. Um, we can't promise wins, we can't promise anything, but what we can promise is effort and attitude and, and the way these kids finish the game. Um, I couldn't be more proud of that because, again, it, you know, throughout the season, there's so many times they could have tapped out, so many times they could have quit, but um, even, even up until the end, they're playing hard, they're going for the ball, they're playing physical, um, and I can't be more proud of these kids. All right, moving on to the Division Two Midland travel to Dexter tonight. Let's pick it up, open and kick off, and this isn't good for Midland. Micah Davis, who has reportedly been offered a preferred walk-on status at Michigan, takes off down the sidelines, and 90 yards later, he's into the end zone. It was 7-0 before the Chemex got off the bus. And speaking of the University of Michigan, running back commit Cole Cabana here shows why he's a big league athlete as he flat out catches this pass on the run, and he is long gone, as Ernie used to say, 88 yards to the house, 14 zip. And Dexter continued to pour it on in the first quarter. Check out the speed here by Cabana as he takes this one on the screen play. And he's going to go 47 yards for this hookup. It is all Dexter tonight. Midland season ends. Final score 42 to 7. So we have three teams move on. Of course, plenty of games happening tomorrow. Yeah, we got a lot to look forward to here on Friday Night Lights presented by Isabella Bank. Now, we still have the Hurley Medical Center play of the night as well coming up. But first, we're going to get a little bit of singing from the Frankie Muth champions right now, the regional chance from the Eagles. Fight for victory. Fight. 